What's up, YouTube? This is Shaylin with a big co-op, and I am here with Stash. Now, what Stash is, is it's a turn-based MMO with frog dice. If you remember, we did a we did feature one episode, but we couldn't get the co-op to play correctly. And um, we did love the game and really would like to play it together, but we can't at this point. It is an early access, so I'm hoping that they do get that fixed. Um, but I did want to feature this game because it is really neat. So um, this is the player, this is the um, player, the character that um, I was using for that game. But I went ahead and made another one. If you notice, she looks very similar um, to go ahead and try to, um, sorry, I just looked at Battalion and he threw me off. He's mm -hmm. eating and it looks really good. He's trying, and so this is the one that I'm going to go ahead and feature as a single player. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I mean, it's a beautiful game. It's very cartoony, but I absolutely love that about it. Uh, what is that? That's a resource node. So I forget the keys. Oh, that's my minions. I don't have a minion. I don't have a minion. Okay. So these are resource nodes. Those are kind of cool. Let me look. Okay, inventory. Um, this is your character sheet. So the drop-down menu on the left, left side gives you access to character stats, tasks, reward inventory, um, costumes, customizations, all of that. Um, and then on the right-hand side is your inventory. Okay, so here is character stats, tasks, rewards. You know, we haven't done anything yet. Stats, here's my heritage. Um, here's all my stats right now, which it doesn't look like I have any. My armor is 34 points. So you have all of this stuff. What's a lapidary? What's a lapidary? I'm guessing that has something to do with stones. Anyway. Um, tasks, we have no tasks currently, rewards, um, costumes. Oh, we can put things here for costumes. That's kind of cool. And customize. You can change your peg base, your title. So, and you can earn new ones of these. Backpack is just my backpack at this point because I haven't done anything. That's what it is. I have no monies either. <clears throat> so, over here is my base of operations, which they call Boo. Okay, so this is your base of operations. It's more than just a home. It's a piece of the world that's uniquely yours and can be developed and le leveled up like a character unto itself. Stash, and this is what your stash looks like, is one of the most important things loaded up with building, upgrade materials, crafting materials, whatever, and um, you, that's where you keep your safe stuff. You also have a merchant stall, and that's your auction house, okay? You can decorate it. So what you do is you put stuff in your stash, and then you um, build, and then you open your inventory, and then you click and draw, drag it to one of the build squares, rotate it if need be, and then exit build. And the upgrade, you click this, so this is, okay, so your stash is over here, which we have nothing, but here's the um, build mode and that. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this, and then this is how you exit. See? So the first thing we need to do is we need to go out, what is this back here? Another resource node. We have so many resource nodes, but we can't do anything with them. We need to go ahead and go to a first dungeon and start to kill things. Because if we don't kill things, we can't have money. We don't have money. We can't. You get the point. You don't have the most. So, let's go ahead into the mines. Okay, let me step back for a second. If you hover over something, it'll say the mines, world dungeon, level 1 to 3. Now, I think there's another one down here. Okay, private dungeon. Let's try this. I've been survived. What? I've been surprised? I've been survived. Okay, so I gotta try to kill these things, and there's like 18,000 of them. Okay, so 
this allows me to move, this allows me to act, this I can use an item, you'll find there are nodes on here, but um, it's waiting on my turn, so I'm going to try to shoot something and kill it. What has the lowest health? Nothing. They all have 40. Okay, so I hit him for 32, and they are just racking my dome. Okay, so my turn. This has a one-round cooldown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. I'm going to move closer, and then I am going to hit that one. Look at how they die, and look at the little skulls. See, this is why we wanted this game so bad for both of us. Okay, so let's try the scummy water elemental. That is funny. Isn't he cute, though? Let's zoom in a little. Isn't he cute? Okay, so let's go ahead and finish him off. And it shows a little husk of who they are. All that's left to him is his eyeballs. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is funny. Oh, my God. All that's left to him is his little eyeballs. I wonder if he has. If you have nothing but eyeballs, do you get eye boogers? And then after a while, their little podium goes away. Their little peg. So, I'm not gonna waste any more of my mana. I'm just gonna like beat this guy to death over here. And then a chest drops in, and you get all kinds of stuff. Earth essences, I believe, are for crafting. Tough nails is for upgrading. Sear wood square table is for your house. Red brick is also. So I'm going to select and confirm, and it kicks you out. Now, if I go into my inventory, ta-da. Congratulations, you are victorious. You earned some XP, and you may have received some triads which is the game coinage or items as loot. If you need to heal or regain mana, you'll either need to eat food, drink potions, or make a camp. Or visit the Rolling Stone Inn located in Askegard. Okay, now, this is the world action bar. One is for creating a campsite, and two is for a hearth beacon. Okay, this bar right here is for your XP bar. Okay, so now here's the thing. Purple shows your XP progress towards the next level. Red shows your XP debt. So if you die or you flee, it has, um, it takes XP away from you. And gold indicates bubbles of XP that are 10% of your total. So now we have all this stuff. And we have two triads. We got two monies. Two monies. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this dungeon. Blue Stone Grotto. Okay, we've entered our first dungeon. Now there are three types of dungeons. World dungeons, private dungeons, and random private dungeons. So, um, okay. Now you can turn if you hold your right button and you turn it. Oh, wow, look at that. I mean, these character models are so neat, which may be very helpful. And you just click on a mob, and boom, you're there. Okay, so that's the weakened skeleton. I need to get money so I can go get stuff to harvest nodes and stuff. Oh, what is that? A voidling. Oh, you see how they leave that cool little pu purple trail? But you can't go anywhere out here. This is your quote-unquote, play area. So by the time... You see how he's just laying there? I wonder why he's glowing. I wonder if you could um, harvest him. I bet you you can. But, okay, let's get these voidlings down. They make me mad nervous. I wonder if I wonder if you can. That's kind of neat. I haven't seen anything like that before where it glows like that. 
because those don't glow. This one does. Huh. Okay. And then, boom, there's my chest. And Carbonics Longsword. Okay, one of the things I like about this is if you can never use an item, it tells you, you can never use this item. But you can sell it, which is nice. Okay. So another encounter, similar to the other one. But the rooms are different. And I know that they're going to repeat rooms. They would have to, you would think. But it's just so... It's neat. Boom. Punch him in his brick head. Now, as a magic user, I gotta decide what I'm gonna do. Cause you can see, I mean, earlier, look at he just lays and look at I love the art style. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what is going on. I've been coughing and sneezing today. That's generally not a good sign, is it? Big stone block, earthless bracers. <gasps> is this better? Oh, no. This is the same amount as what we got. So, and duster. This is the same as what we got. But the good thing is we will be able to... Um, is there anything in this corner? Level up! Um, we'll be able to um, sell them in town. <gasps> okay, now this one has a different color base. So I don't, I don't know about this dude right here. But, I mean, let's go. Is that a note? Okay. No, they. Okay, so let me. Okay, basic life is staple of air elementals arsenal. The damage is low, but has the highest chance to shock your target. Once your target has been shocked, many other air spells do additional jam damage. So that damage is light. <clears throat> that damage is light. So let me say I want to do this. And then I do this. Well, he died. But they die in generally two hits anyway. And when you level up, everything refills, which is nice. I like that there's a timer for your turn. So you can't, like, take forever. Red brick, sturdy shingles. Okay. And triads found. Eleven. I mean, it's just so kind of clean. I wonder why this is... Okay, so let's go down here because I don't see anything over there. Let's go up here. I get mad nervous going into some of these encounters. I don't know why. Okay, one, one, one. Okay, so... I wonder if you have anything that does, like, splash damage. Like, if I put it on that one... Does it affect the other two? That's just... Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit this one. And then, because I'm worried because it's so close to me. I'm worried about hitting them. Let me see. If I hit them... No, it doesn't hit me too. Okay. So now I can use back-to-back -back spells, but the issue is, is if you use back-to-back -back spells, that's going to eat your mana up. I just think this game is so neat. Duster. Oh, that's the same duster. Plank and mace. And three triads. 
Okay, so, I mean, look at how these dungeons look. They got little things in the corner. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, one, 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 one. Okay, um, we got four this time. Oh, out of locate. And you know what? I knew that because this blue tells you, and there's spots that you can't go through. Okay, so, oh, they're ranged too. They are ranged as well. He <laughs> none of my little eyeballs land there. That poor guy. Okay. Um. Oh man. Okay. So let's go ahead and take you down. Oh, I never noticed that. Okay. So. Okay. You see me highlighting over the skeleton? You notice the picture, the circle around his picture glows differently. That is kind of neat. Because what that means is, is you always know what target you're hitting. So when you have um, three of those things, of the um, little eyeball thingies, the scummy water guys, water elementals, that means that you always know that you're targeting the same one. Leather gloves are for... Okay, so a ball of dough. Oh, that restores health and mana. Okay, so I'm going to select all. I'm going to move over, to move that stuff over. I'm going to go into my inventory. And I'm going to see if I can go ahead and use it. And see how much... Oh, yeah, you see it just goes bloop, right up there. But we're starting to get stuff... <laughs> what is over here? Why is this glowy? I want to know why this is glowy. Is it just the sun hitting it? And that's dust motes? That's neat. Is there anything down there? I mean, this is just... I mean, the way they did this is so cool. And it that's why it just... I want to play co-op so bad. See, so we're 20% through the level. And I think this is 10%. 22%. There you go. What is that? Oh, that's the bat. The diseased bat. Huh. Well, the diseased bat is about to be a dead bat. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm not going to use any more mana, because our mana is low. Look at that skeleton, how it just turns away. You can see the torture and the death. Stone brick longsword? Oh, I didn't find any triads. Okay, this is the back corner. I just, okay, so we got four dudes, two skeletons, a voidling, and a bat. And then after this, we'll be able to go explore Asgard. And, um, hopefully, nope. It was the voidling I was hitting. Um, explore Asgard. I'll show you the town. And then um, I just wanted to get in and show you a dungeon, how a dungeon works. I just want to live through this dungeon because my health is getting kind of low. Okay, so it's this skeleton. Yep. Who's on fire, too. Okay.
and then we'll be able to show you how the be the base of operations works. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just whack on him a couple of times. And then tough nails, perfect leather armor. I can never use that. Okay, ingredients. This is used in alchemist craft. Okay, so you'll find recipes. And the recipes will be able to tell you, you know, how to make things with your crafting. Um, no more space in bags. What? So I can't stack these? Um, let me see if I can take these. Okay. So my thought is, why do the last battle if I can't pick up the loot? Um, I'm not going to do the last battle if I can't pick up the loot. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to sell. And then I'm going to show you guys the, the base of operations and that kind of stuff. So sometimes your character gets kind of stuck. And it, the, ta the thing is called Mit Mitralon. So, okay, let's see what we got out here. This is Askegard. It's the capital city. So we're going to head over there, sell some of our stuff. And then we are going to, okay, welcome to Askegard, the capital city of Michelon. Askegard is the main hub of this region. With it, you'll find merchant vendors, NPCs to pro that provide a variety of um, important services. Near the gate, you'll find Lelia, who offers tasks if you want a little more direction in your adventuring exploits. These tasks are completely optional. East of Lelia, you can find the Rolling Stone Inn. This is a social gathering place where you can meet other adventurers or just relax while regenerating health and mana. Opening soon. East of the Rolling Stone Inn, you will find the market stalls that sell, a column that sell items and buy your loot. You'll also find craft masters who can teach you how to become a crafter. So, you go through and you find these people like here's Lelia the taskmaster and she gives you a variety of tasks such as um, young bubbly and fascinated with plants Lelia could almost pass for a dryad her favorite pastime is researching pretty much anything that, that she feels like studying and she has heavy ties to the Argent Mood College Though she is a bit of a know-it-all at times, Lelia's friendliness and natural curiosity makes her popular with adventurers. She has, she always has a task for them. So you can acquire about a task. And she does a lot of cooking tasks or a lot of crafting tasks. Let's just say that. That's the Rolling Stone Inn, which we hope is coming up soon. But what we want to do is we want to go to Thraka. Thraka is a merchant, large and gray, and happy to converse with just about anyone. Thraka spends most of his time in his store. Many think he first opened shop just to find more people to talk to throughout the day. Thraka is known for his good deers, deals and myriad of stock of weapon and armor. Okay, so the good thing about this is all the stuff that you cannot use, you just sell. So anything red right off the top, you sell. Okay. And then you can look and like, he has a cowl. I don't think I have a cowl. So I may want to get that. Um, but you look at the food, it's like, this restores health and mana. Um, this restores less. That only restores health that only restores mana. And you can see that costs 10, that costs 10, and that costs 10, so I'd buy the basic street meat anyway. But I want to go see what Zieri has. This sweet cat folk doesn't say much, but her inquisitive nature shows itself in her large curious eyes. 
Her quiet demeanor often makes some of the rougher crowd try to take advantage of her, but she has a very deep pocket of allies. Allies. Some say she's friends with the greatest leaders in the realm. Who knows? She keeps her mouth closed about it. What is most certainly known, however, is that for anyone intending to be a crafter of some sort, her stall could should be one of the first stops. She carries just the right tools to get any beginner on their way to becoming a master. Okay, so she's the crafter. Okay. So, there's a cooker or a chef master, an armor, a weapon master, an alchemy, and a maker master. The maker master is wood. Alchemy, weapon master, armor, and chef master. So let's look at alchemy. Though is it Diana has recently moved to this city, she remains very much a part of the forest. Herbs, flowers, and plants are her specialty, and she knows a great deal about poisons. Okay, welcome. There's much I can teach you here. Everyone can learn one trade craft and one gathering skill. If you wish to learn more than that, you can unlock additional spots with medallions. I, I happen to be a craft master and alchemist. You currently are trained in none. So there is that. Much like the flower for which she is named, Dandelion is cute, hardy, and quite scrappy. She grew up on the streets and survived under extremely harsh conditions thanks to her resourcefulness, which even included the improbable feat of disguising herself as a boy for years. She has a solution for just about any problem. Welcome. There's much I can teach you here. Um, I happen to be a craft, craft master in Maker. So, I don't know. I think Maker is wood. Um... If natural has something to say, be sure he'll say it in the bluntest, plainest way possible. He is not known for his tact, but is honest as they come. Coincidentally, the weaponsmith's preferred weapons are hammers. Go figure. Everything about Smith Gar screams steadfast, serious, and stoic. His somber face, his gray hair, and his conservative manner of dress all add to this man. He's, uh, it says Mian, but it's a dog. <laughs> He's dependable in business and has made quite a reputation for himself for always delivering on his deals. Because of the, this, those looking for a start in Armorsmith tend to look to him for guidance, and he's made a bit of a side job training new smiths. And then the chef master. Brent is the typical Askagarian boy next door. He can always be found chatting with the neighbors or helping an old Trulloch across the street. His passion is cooking, which he learned from his grandmother as a young child who barely reached her waist. Now he takes great pride in sharing his knowledge and with any who would learn. Just don't ask him to share his secret recipe for a garangentupine stew. Now, the thing is, is, if we're picking a craft, we want to pick one that really suits our, our character. And I think alchemy would be good because we could get healing potions, we could get mana potions, we could get, um, and hopefully we'll be able to find medallions to unlock some of these others. So I'm going to go ahead with alchemy. And I have the mini health potion recipe. So first thing you want to do is come over to here to the merchant and get your stuff that you need for that. Okay, so um, that's for aspiring chefs. The starter, mortar, and pestle. Did I get it? Okay. You want the starter alchemist table. Um, and the shears. Yes, the shears. Okay. So these are your um, tools of the trade, per se. Okay? Let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Maker, alchemist, we got. The forge, the foundry, the stove, the lathe. Okay, so we got everything I think that we need. 
I'm here's another merchant. Let's see what they have. Um, young, fun-loving, and slightly offbeat, Tabalta loves to laugh and laughs about everything. Nothing gets her down, and she turns even the most mundane chore into a fun task, at least in her mind. And she got a use for that just about every piece of... Oh, and she got a use for just about every piece of useless junk out there. Okay, so that's the same duster we have. And I think we had a couple. So let me go ahead and sell the duster. 12.82, 12.82. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell these dusters because we already have one on. Um, okay, so this is, he, the one guy up there has the best potions. So I'm gonna, or the best, Oh, there's Millaway. Let's go over and see Millaway. Salvage machine? Where'd that come from? Is this the salvage? Oh, salvage. Sick of watching those crafting disasters pile up. Use the salvage machine imported from Traj to turn those disasters into rare, um, rare and amazing crafting resources. Simply insert, insert your disaster, give us money, and come back to pick up amazing results later. That is Funny. So, like, if I have this, can I put this there? Oh, it's not salvageable. Okay. So, let's go talk to Millaway. Originally an apprentice baker from a seaside village, Millaway moved with her family to Askegard when she was an early teen. She expanded her culinary skills in various shops until she opened her own. Her diverse menu allows her to cater to all the different races that inhabit Askegard. Okay, basic street meat. That's a good one. Um, let me see. See, and this one restores more. I can use a club. Is this? Um, I think I'm going to buy a couple of these street meats just so that I have them. Okay, so, oh, there's nothing back there. Oh, it says wares, isn't that cute? And then let's go up here, up the steps, see what's up here, because there's some stuff up here, I would think. Because um, this is a pretty big town, it's quite expansive. Um, I wonder if it fills in or if it's going to fill in because this is an early access game. So I wonder if it's going to fill in. Oh, here's another Taskmaster. Okay, charismatic and slightly mysterious, Aramir is quite popular with the ladies. He's most known, however, for his storytelling and thirst for knowledge. He trades for lore and trinkets and uses everything he learns to build interesting stories. The woodcutters around here are complaining about rattling noises whenever the sun begins to set, and they insist that it must be the undead coming to eat their brains. As if they have any. Still, please go investigate these complaints and kill or unkill some skeletons while you're out there. Oh, so these are the kill tasks. Okay. So these are the kill tasks. Gobos. Um, cube... Cubelets, pokas, um, someone keeps stealing crates of beautiful slimmer statues from the Craftsman's Guild. If you find any boxes, please mark the location with a spring sprung beacon. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, butterfly disturbance. Please investigate the west near the swamps. The Adventurer's Guild has reports of extra large creatures roaming through the area. I don't think I'm ready for that one. We need to collect magical essences that occur only in specific mushroom rings. Please look for these, use the spammer, and bring back the box. Okay, so um, we've run into some skeletons. Uh, 
I think the Gabo peons, since they're peons, I'm going to take that one, Cubelets. That's just too cute to take, or not to take. Um, I'm going to take Mini Glancers, even though there's a typo there. I know, I know. And I'm going to leave those four. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if there's anything else. What's over here? Oh, wait. Oop. Oh, it's a clan master. So you can make a clan, which is somewhat frustrating because I can't even make a party. Rope. I'm thinking that some of these are like this because you're eventually going to be able to go into them. You know, you're hopefully the town's going to expand a little. And that would be nice. So this is Askagard. Um, uh, look at, there's the lady with the little bow. I mean, the attention to detail over here is kind of, it's kind of phenomenal. Little tree. That's kind of a tr cool tree arbor. Oh, look at that. That's neat. You can see like the whole town from up here. There's the door we came in and Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Okay, well, I'm going to go to our um, our base of operations. Try to put some things into... Oh, that has a 60-minute cooldown. I want to use it just to see. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some of this over there. I don't know if we're going to use any of this. Um, I wish we could have, like, over here we have the button of go ahead and pull over. I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to put that. i got to keep that. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to try to... You already know this recipe. Figures. Okay, so I'm going to go out of here. And I'm going to see... Can I upgrade the stash? Tough nails, we need six. Perfect wooden plank, we need three. Red brick, we need five. So I can upgrade that. Can I upgrade my, oh no, 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 no. Let me, can I upgrade my, no, I don't wanna upgrade my stall. No. Um, can I upgrade my house? Oh no, I need five of these little bricky thingies. Oh, shingles. They're shingles. Huh. And earlier, these are the medallions they were talking about. So, should I upgrade my BOO first or should I upgrade my stash first? But, anyway... Um, this is build mode right now since I just have basically a pallet on the ground. Okay, so I did that. Now I want to go into look mode. And how do I use this? Oh, I gotta use, I gotta find these two things. Carbonics and Balan, Balancock? <laughs> Sorry. So there's my little crafting table. Okay. So with that, we're going to go ahead. And the, the only thing I don't like about here is, is you can't rest here. You can't rest here. Um, there is a medallion shop where you can buy camp materials for 100 triads. Um, I suggest doing it so that you do have a campfire available so that when your health gets low. Um, let me see. Does it show it over here? Okay, right here. Rewards new. So, I wonder when we can upgrade all of this stuff. Oh, alchemist. We can mine, we can skin, we can lapidary, we can herbalize, we can scavenge, and we can lumberjack. I didn't buy the stuff for all of that. I 
didn't do that. Okay, well, so in this in this episode, we've done a lot. We've done our first dungeon. We've gone to the town. What is this? A resource node. You know what? I want to go in here and see if I can get an upgrade. Take me to Askegard. I mean, seriously. But it said only one gathering craft, didn't it? You know what? I'm only going to take one gathering craft. I'm going to focus on mush, you know, like uh, herbs and stuff. I think we need to go in and do this one just to get more stuff. Maybe we can update our house at the next time. But with that, this is the uh, first episode of Stash that I'm going to be do, doing solo instead of dolo, which upsets me. But um, if you like to play, I'll put the link down in the bottom. It's really a fun game. But with that, I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.